For nearly a half a century, two silent voyagers have traveled across the solar system. The two Voyager probes have become somewhat of backwanders from alien worlds, rewriting what we know about the solar system. But even as most legendary journeys might face the limits of time, our next story tells you about how NASA is now putting them in power saving mode. Hurtling through the cosmic void, Voyager probes continue their relentless exploration of interstellar realms. These twin sentinels, humanity's farthest flung emissaries, have regularly transmitted secrets of the cosmos for nearly half a century. Now, as their power wanes, NASA engineers must make difficult choices to extend their historic mission into uncharted territories no human craft has ventured before. NASA is switching off crucial instruments on both Voyager probes to conserve dwindling power. For 47 years, these intrepid spacecraft have journeyed where no human-made objects have gone before, venturing beyond our solar system's protective bubble into the vast wilderness of interstellar space. Launched in August and September 1977, the probes first completed their grand tour of outer planets, capturing unprecedented images of Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus and Neptune before continuing their journey into the unknown. Last month, engineers powered down Voyager 1's cosmic ray detector subsystem, three telescopes designed to study galactic and solar protons. On 24th March, Voyager 2's low-energy charged particle instrument which detects ions, electrons, and cosmic rays, will follow suit. This leaves just three active scientific instruments on each spacecraft, reduced from their original complement of 10. The culprit is physics itself. The probe's radioisotope, thermoelectric generators, which convert heat from decaying plutonium into electricity, are producing less power each year. With Voyager 1, now more than 15 billion miles from Earth and its twin trailing at 13 billion miles, radio signals take over 23 hours to reach the furthest probe. <laughs> 